Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about high school relationships and um, do they last? That's the real question. Do high school relationships last? Let's first look at some stats we have here. So less than 2% of marriages belong to high school sweethearts, which you guys probably know during your time of high school or if you're currently in high school. There are, uh, you know, currently relationships that are going on all the time and there's some drama between there sometimes, but it all just depends on, I guess, the school and the couple as well, but that's it's not that important right now, but, um, yeah, high school sweethearts, um, you know, they can last for a while, it just depends on their commitment and how long they've been dating for, but um, another stat is showing the highly unlikely of a high school couples actually last because there's a low probability of that happening and the chances of that are slim whereas high school sweethearts will will marry each other just because uh you know if they do marry their chances of surviving the marriage become even slimmer so how long do high school relationships usually last um they usually last between you know the age of 16 to 18 years old and, you know the like, year you're a sophomore or you're a senior it just depends because i mean after your senior year you're going to be gone and you're going to leave high school but that's for about one and a half to almost two years. Some high school relationships only last till they move to college, yet few high school relationships do end up in marriages, but the ratio is quite low. So the ratio is pretty low there just because, um, you know, all your four years of high school, you're going to have people who are going to leave, go to new schools. There's gonna be breakups constantly. And there's always gonna be drama. There's always gonna be fights. Girls and guys will be fighting over, you know, um, the best girl in your class or the best guy in your class. It's just some high school drama, and uh, that's not really going to be that important in the real world. Real world after you graduate, just because there's so many other opportunities to meet other individuals of the opposite gender, just because you have more of a, I guess, atmosphere, like when you go to college or. Um, in, in your workforce or wherever you go after school so it doesn't really matter at that point but um, if, if you can make it work and if you <clears throat> both really love each other then I would say go for it and see how everything goes but um, let's see we have a chart right here high school relationship summed up so 61% of teens say they have been in love 94% believe in true love 18% um, they've had a negative impact on friendships through a relationship and 39% keep their relationship secret from their parents so they don't want their parents to find out and uh, I don't know why but some people are just I guess uh, not embarrassed they're just like it's under under the radar so they want to keep it secret uh, from their parents and not letting them know which kind of doesn't make sense but these are four pyramids to uh, I guess high school relationships the status quo as you guys have seen here um so yeah i already talked about the uh two percent of uh high school relationships are um you know going to be married you know through being high school sweethearts and uh high school relationships don't work just because you know is the love always going to be in the air it's a yes or no it could be 50 50 it just depends on the mood and with the other person's feeling, but whether you're in high school right now or that you were or years ago, I was in 2017. But if you dated in high school, you know how it ended. High school relationships give a sense of loyalty and experience, although it may be complicated. These relationships teach a teenager the art of a relationship and how it works. Um, in the beginning, you know, there's the talking stage, and after that. Um, you go on a few dates, you get to know the person really well, and then the talking stage goes on for quite a while, you know, and um, it can it can be confusing at times just because people aren't really clear about their intentions between uh, between the couple, and um, if the relationship becomes official, it'll become very important to them whether the couple is public or private about what's happening, you know. Um, It'll most likely get out, so people will find out about it. In high school, there's all sorts of drama and news that is leaked, but um, 
this is intriguing sometimes just because some people want to keep everything private and not always public but some relationships can't handle this but um there's some that have good or bad endings because you know people will leave for college or people will be leaving for the military or um for the workforce working with the state or city or getting a, their own job or maybe dropping out of high school to pursue other um, opportunities and uh, breakups you know um, these are pretty bad for teenagers and adults today just because um, all the emotions you feel and um, it's just constantly going on in your mind you're always thinking about the person and it's hard it's gonna take time because time um, will heal wounds um, you know give or take a year or so just as long as you um, have a setback and um, setbacks man um, they're very um, they're very um, different just because high school relationships are a blessing in disguise but um, it helps you um, give it gives each other memories that will last forever but a setback um, for teenagers are huge sometimes because parents will um, have certain restrictions and some aren't comfortable with their teenager dating and um, that might have the teenager you know hide the relationship from them because they don't want the parents to have certain setbacks or restrictions <coughs> but um, according to mensdivorce.com high school sweethearts do not marry often but when they do the likelihood of divorce increases Brandon etc etc um had a quote divorce rates are those within the first 10 years of marriage for a high school sweetheart or at a 54 percent or much higher than the average american couple 32 percent so in a way breaking up in high school or just after high school can lessen your chance of divorce and increase your chance of finding the right person for you so th those are uh examples of how a high school relationship works through the beginning you got the talking stage you got a breakup setbacks so hiding behind your parents, uh, I, get, I guess back, not telling them about a re relationship, and they can also set boundaries too, but setbacks. Um, they're a huge reason for teenagers. Um, you know, it just depends on how old you are and who you're wanting to date. Um, so we have, what else do we have? In high school, you know, your main priorities are grades, sports, college, prep, family, etc. So most relationships happen within the school atmosphere making time together easier to come by but that doesn't mean your partner should be your number one priority it should also be grades sports college prep and family and any other hobbies you know that you have a little or anything else you do finally gets the so um also your future may or may not include your partner and at that age your individual future should be your top priority uh, meaning all your other setbacks such as grades, sports, college, prep, and family, and your other hobbies. Those should be your main priority um, in your relationship as well, because that will help bury it, help build up um, the uh, foundations for your relationship. It'll help you be more independent. But um, also, um, yeah, your individual future, like I said, should be your top priority just because this can very well hurt or delay a relationship, but you you matter first, excuse me, guys. So, um, your health, your well-being, um, your individual future, and yourself, um, those all come first before a relationship. So, make sure you have everything together before you jump into a relationship, especially in high school and later on in life as well, but... Um, adulthood as well like I said um, half of um, divorce rates are um, through high school I guess sweethearts but um, you want to make sure you're, you um, are dating somebody you're going to want to spend time with together for the rest of your life and not have any um, setbacks about it but um, let's f we're finished there so yeah, I already, I already talked about this, but high school relationships don't work just because of, you know, the beginning. There's the talking stage, which it can be confusing at times. It just depends on how it's, I guess, um, prioritized between you and the other person. 
and breakups happen and setbacks. But yeah, high school relationships, um, you know, they can either be good or bad. It just depends on um, who you're dating. It can be a toxic relationship where um, it's all mainly focused on one person and you're not giving back the same amount of energy towards the other, which isn't fair to the other person because it's not even a relationship. That's just using somebody for your own personal gain, which is no sign of love right there. So that's not fair at all to the other person. And like I said, yeah, less than 2% of marriages belong to high school sweethearts. So um, that's a low percentage right there. But high school relationships, um, they can last if you, if you really want them to, but it all depends on how far you want to go and how um, how the other person handles the situation, if they're in, interested in you that much, and if the emotions are in... Um, I guess energy and everything is good. I would say give it a shot and go for it, but um, it all depends on how the other person's feeling. So this person right here, this lady right here, she couldn't like this guy a lot, but um, you know something else might happen during high school. She might break up with him or leave him for another guy, or she might be going to the military. The same for this guy. You just never know what someone's intentions are going to be. So that's why communication and trust is very important in a relationship. And that's what helps build up the attraction and helps keep everything going. So that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you have any other questions about um, high school relationships, be sure to comment below. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my videos. And thank you guys for watching. So have a great rest of your day.